Let's talk about pharmaceuticals, uh, Adrian. That's also been an area where you've had uh, several holdings. That seems to have been the star performer, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been interesting. Um, we have seen greater clarity on the, uh, on the price list uh, once that came out. Uh, it gave, um, it, it, it cleared up an overhang uh, with respect to expectations or uncertainty that, that some of these companies face. And I think, um, I, I think investors uh, have been able to invest with more confidence into that sector because of that. Um, I, well, it's, to put things in perspective, uh, that sector has also been a uh, uh, relative underperformer in the medium term. Uh, and there was uh, some recovery back in uh, to, to rotation back into that sector uh, after the, the, trans, the price list came out. Um, so that was nice to see. Uh, the fundamentals remain strong, though. Um, strong bench of uh, science uh, resource and talents available, um, and the operating cost of, of running many of these R&D um, centers are, 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 are very competitive, uh, not just regionally but globally as well. So um, we, we like what we see. Um, Similar to the consumer staples um, peer group, uh, it's not always a sector that's cheap, uh, but so you do, do have to be quite selective about which types of stocks you want to hold uh, within the pharmaceutical sector.